Hi guys, um, how's it going? I hope you're having a fabulous morning. I am so far. I've just had um, a, a mail call uh, video, which I'm going to post up in a little bit. So, you know, go and watch that and I'll link it up in the cards. Um, yeah, I've got some work done. I'm, I'm having a bloody good day so far. It's not bad at all, at all, at all. Going to paper clip, that's good. It's always good. So, let's get set on. Oh, welcome to Today in My Bujo. Fancy graphic here. Today is Saturday the 23rd of February. Can you see that? And it is 12.26. So just after midday. Um, right, let's get on with today. I've just had everything all over my desk while I opened it. I didn't think to move my bujo out of the way. And I'm sat here twiddling. So when I moved it all, there was this big fuck off mess. And it's all in the wrong order, look. <laughs> oh, my word. Now... That goes there. Aha. Right. <laughs> yeah, everything had been moved and made a mess of, and it was like, oh no. Okie doke. Right. <clears throat> did I write a gratitude word in last night? I didn't, did I? I couldn't think of one really. Oh, we went out for a nice walk. Yeah, let me put that in. So, if you can hear my phone, of course, it's been bloody quiet for the last 20 minutes. And then the second I decide I'm going to get on with my vlog, it goes nuts. Because, you know, that's just the way it is. Right. <clears throat> so, I did my gratitude and my face cream, but I didn't do my hands because I was so freaking tired. Mucking about trying to get everything uploaded last night. And then it wasn't until I'd done it all that I realised I had this big blank bit of no sound in the middle of my video where I'd hyperlapsed it and forgot to put the bloody music in and I didn't realise until I'd uploaded it and quite frankly I just couldn't go back and do it all again I'm so tired so and then I went to bed and I stuck face cream on my face and I didn't do my hands I was lying there in bed thinking I haven't done it and it was just like do you know what I don't give a monkeys right we're going to pull a card because I do feel quite good so let me just grab <sighs> Some pans, and if I can get up on my feet, because I'm still surrounded by bubble wrap and rubbish. <laughs> grab my cards. Left uh, oh, one in the box. That's not good, is it? Okie dokie. <coughs> this is my everyday witch tarot. <coughs> so I shut up. Poxy phone. I'm going to mute that because I know what it is. It's mute right, that's off for the next hour fucking thing right um, over here right mm -hmm. what should I do what should I do what should I do I'm going to do 623 will be my colour coding for the everyday witch tarot and it's the 23rd so I'm going to colour that square in as well I love this deck so much and there's an oracle cards uh, oracle deck coming out soon and um, the backs the same and a lot of the cards are the same but it's an oracle deck rather than tarot deck and I'm really looking forward to it because oracle cards give you completely different messages um, this was probably the first deck even I've been reading cards for 20 odd years but this is the first deck that I've like linked with so well it's so intuitive and so nice to you and the pictures are brilliant right i'm just going to fan them in my hand because i don't have a cloth down that i can spread them on and they don't spread well on a glossy sort of let's see Ugh. that was a bit of a mess and we will pick uh, 
Oh, that one. Today. they? There are many different ways you can pick your card of the day. Some people like to shuffle and take from the top. Some people like to shuffle, cut them, and then take from the, you know. There's, I just like to spread them out and pick one. And today's card is the sun. Uh, well, that is so appropriate. You guys, I've got windows open because it is so gorgeous here. The sun is an ultimately happy, happy card. It's brilliant. So I'm just going to write in black what card it is. That's not today's pen, is it? That's yesterday's pen. Right, I'm just going to put that to one side. We'll come back and do that in a minute with today's pen. Let's just make sure we've got the rest of today set up. Yeah, that was done. Right, I need to do st steps and sleep quickly. Or steps, at least. Um, got a bit ahead of myself there, really. Sorry about that. <laughs> I might edit it and see if I can swap it around, but then it'll be a bit confusing everything that I say. Steps yesterday were just over 10,000. I was quite tired because I went for a walk yesterday to see my partner because I've had the flu and which is why I've got a break of nail and why I sort of cough quite regularly <coughs> and he's not very well either and oh god it's been a freaking nightmare so he's not up to walking down here and I haven't been up to going down there so we've barely seen each other this year <laughs> great isn't it um so yeah i walked down there yesterday and he lives it's exactly one mile from his house to my house and i literally had enough energy to walk down there have a cup of tea and then turn around and walk home again and then i just more or less collapsed i didn't really get much else done but and then he's like oh i'm seeing you tomorrow <laughs> not unless you're coming to me pal you know i'm too fucking tired <laughs> so well i'll fill the numbers in in a minute once i've had a chance to drive completely um, I didn't sweep the floor last night. I just didn't get around to it. Like I said, I was knackered. By the time I'd finished editing and uploading, it was late. So, right, we can now switch to today's pen. Oh, it's a nice pale sort of aqua, greeny bluey. Oh, I don't know. Actually, I won't know until I write with it what colour it is. Because I forget, that's the advantage of having um, 72 pens, is you're never quite sure what you're going to get out. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera, whatever it is. That's nice, it's a sort of pale mint. Do you know what? Actually, I'm not going to use that pen. I bought some ink gel pens, and I'm just going to have a play with them. So I'm going to do magenta, because why the hell not? Because I just think it will show up better and be easier to read later than reading a felt tip. Now, somebody else is freaking texting me. Go away! Celebrate everything. In life. Time to be happy. Woman power. Because I hate the term girl power because. <coughs> Oops. That's why I have a TV remote. Girl power, just, you know, I'm not 12. I'm quite a bit older than 12. So, um, right, this card. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's lots of sunflowers about. Sunflowers make most people smile. Um, as you can see, we've got the mother, the maiden and the crone having a celebration. They're celebrating life. They're happy. Everything is good. OK, life is good. The sun is such a happy card that even if it's reversed and I don't read reverse cards, it's very, very hard to get a negative message off of this card. So, I mean, look how happy they are. They're smiling. They're dancing. Even their cats are happy. There's all the sunflowers are out. There's no dead flowers. The sun is huge in the sky. This is such a fab card. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, good card. Good card to get my first day back reading cards again. That That is a good message for me, actually. I'm really pleased. I might make a few more notes there about what a good card that is to get on my first day back. So, yeah. Okay, sleep pen. Right. My phone, but I keep chucking my phone out of the way in the hopes that it's gonna <laughs> not make noise, and then I'm like, Where the fuck is my phone? Right, yeah, see, that says I went to sleep at 10 to 1, but I'm sure it was later than that. But we will put it down well, two minutes to one, we'll put it down at one. Trouble is, it what it registers is, um, you know, that your rate has slowed down on that. Well, sometimes if you're just sitting around in bed. It um, thinks you're asleep. 
and it was quite a good night last night so I'm gonna it wasn't perfect because I did get up and go to but you know what it is actually gonna jump right up there because once I fell asleep, sorry, I'm under orders to pause the TV. The good thing about Apple Remote is I can pause it from the other room. <laughs> um, yeah, once I fell asleep, which didn't take me long because I was exhausted, um, I had a really good night. I think I only got up once, and that wasn't until 7 o'clock. The toilet. Good night. What, was it? what did I say? There? Steps were 10,600. And I've been a busy bee this morning. I have cleaned my son's bedroom window, which I didn't do yesterday because I just didn't feel like it. I have done the loo. I've got to go and hang some laundry up. I'm going to do that in a sec. Did, did it not go back on? No. Go and have a look now. Okay, um, I have vacuumed downstairs. I am on a roll, mate. I have done my window. And everything else I've got to do this evening. So, yeah. Um, right, that is going to have to be moved to next week because it's now Saturday and the bank's not open. And the other thing I've got to do is my foil video. Because I have foils to play with. So, let's get on with today. I'm really glad that um, I got some happy mail today. So, you know, go and have a look at that. I got some Project Life cards, which is really good because I want to put a photo of Daryl in here, but I haven't got enough room unless I move over onto this page. And I was thinking of using a Project Life card and making it like a tip-in. Well, it'd go that way because that's the side that the rings are going to be on. So I'm making it like a tip-in there. We'll see. But then I've possibly got enough room there to put a photo in we'll see i've got to do that as well photo video okay um oh god there is stuff everywhere oh, it's so freaking messy i've got to contact her and say thank you let's move my cards back out of the way and back in the box where they live with my other things <laughs> I li literally, my desk, this is the cleanest part of my desk, okay? I've got, I'm going to show you, right? Sorry if you're a bit vertigo -y like me, but there you go. See, that is the mess just next to my desk. There is a massive mug with pens there. There's a clear space there because I've just moved everything so that I can get into that drawer, which is where my gelatos live. <laughs> so I might rearrange drawers to get to put something in there that I don't get to very often. <laughs> um, and then over that way is my mouse pad and there's, like a good half of my mouse pad is taken up my shit and there's just stuff everywhere it's, it is I like I'm awful but yeah I think I might have to rearrange some drawers today right as you all know I've been using these stencils I'm not going to use those today because I have new stencils these came in the post from Amazon and I will link them down in my description oh um April asked and I have replied to her but in case anybody else wants to know this colour is cinnamon. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use this, which is snow cone, and have used it before. I'm gonna use it anyway. You're coming for a hug. Hi, hug. How's my hug today? Okay. Goodo. Oh, that's a nice colour. Should we use that one? Oh, that's fig. Yeah. I, I like that? green. You like green? Yeah. Because green is my favourite. That's because you like the Green Lantern. Yeah. Go on then, you go watch it. I need to have the red lantern. I am going to put those in a different flipping drawer. I'm not sure which drawer yet. Because all of those drawers over there are full. <laughs> right, I haven't used fig. I, I want to try and use them all so that I get to play with them all. So I'm just going to put them over there for now. <coughs> get the labelly thing out. And I'm leaving it on quite large because it's only a little word. I have to buy a new cartridge soon. I've got no idea how long this one will last for. Go off, thank you. Before um, before I run out, I might be really annoyed if I run out before I finish labelling the box. Oh, you 
guys, it's so beautiful here today. I've got windows and doors and all sorts open. The cat's wandering in and out, screaming at everybody because everything's open. Grab a dauber. Yes, as I was saying, stencils. I ordered some stencils on Amazon ages ago. They turned up yesterday and I've butchered them <laughs> because they didn't look exactly how I wanted. So I cut them up slightly and then I've also cut them up to make them easier to handle. Uh, this is a deco some other stencil. I don't know, I will link to it down below, don't worry. And it was one big stencil. So today I am going to oh, washy bits all over it. But it, it was shown like that on the picture. Okay, my hand underneath so you can see. But when I got it, there was a bit of plastic there. Now I get why, it's to make it less flimsy, but that was, you know, didn't look how I wanted it to. And they were all like that, all of the numbers were like that. So I got my scissors out last night, cut them up, and then I was like, oh shit, that looks really flimsy now. So hopefully the <laughs> these are going to be okay. So let's get some washi. And I'm going to washi along this edge where, so that if I go over on the three, it'll be okay. And I was also annoyed because they said, oh, these are three inch high stencils, but they're not. They're just under three inches. So, yeah, I've had quite a lot of trouble with that Amazon seller this, this time around. Shame because I've usually use them a lot when I want stuff from the US. <coughs> so, 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 I'm trying so hard not to say that. I need to catalogue my gelatos actually because I'm going into Southampton. I live on the Isle of Wight, which is a little island off the south coast of the UK. <coughs> it's tiny, it's 24 miles wide. Okay, this island. And um, we don't have many shops that are, you know, artsy and all that lot. Um, we have one art store that I know of, and it's not very good. Um, we have the works, but we don't have hobby craft. We, we have the range, but it's, you know, the other side of the island from where I live. So um, it's my daughter's birthday and my third son's birthday. And, well, he wouldn't necessarily want to go to the mainland, as we call it. We live on the island, and they live on the, uh, or they, everything that is not the island in England is the mainland, or up north, if you mean. Um, yeah, my son won't want to go, but my daughter will want to come. It's like Lush, we don't even have a Lush store here. Um, what else don't we have? We only just recently got an Asda. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, that kind of thing. So we like to go over and go shopping. Oh, that actually came out really nice. Yeah, that looks quite nice. Different from those. So, you know, I'm going to alternate every now and then. It's nice to have choices. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, she likes the Lush store. I can't go in the Lush store because I have hyperosmia. But I do like their bath bombs. So I might say to her, you know, grab me a couple of bath bombs while you go in there drool over lush stuff um but like there's no Ryman's here there's you know there's loads of stores that just are not here um that pisses me off I loved I used to live in Southampton um I moved over there for a couple of years before I had Daryl <coughs> and I loved it it was great because there was just so much sort of splurged there was you know so many shops we only just recently got um, the range. We only recently got B and M, and while it's no case B and M, it it's not very big, and it doesn't ever seem to change stock. Which I'm like, mm. so um, I had a look, and there is a Ryman's within 15 minutes of Southampton city centre, which means it's only a half hour walk from the ferry. And um, Hobby Craft, I always want to say Hobby Lobby, but that's the American one. Hobby Craft is a 10 to 15 minute 
bus ride from the city centre. So I figure by the time we've gotten in there and you know had a look round or had some lunch rather, we can then um, catch the bus and go to Hobbycraft. And then when we get back into Southampton, we can go and have a look at Ryman's and you know all these different things. Well, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? I quite like that. It's different. Not too sure about the circles at the ends of the letters, but you know. So if you do decide to get this and you decide to cut them so that there aren't as many solidy bits, it's still quite an established stencil. There are um, dotted lines between around each number so that you can separate this one, not like that stencil where I cut it up myself. Um, it's it's quite robust still, but just treat it a little bit carefully when you clean it, just lay it in your hand. And yes, I'm still using my ratty old um, thing. I'm just going to clean around this dobber because that gelato spat a little bit. <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Right, I'll put that away. The weather for today is... The weather, 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 weather. I'm going to do that in a bit once that's dried. Oh, I could do it. In the, yeah, I'll do it in the cab. Why not? It should say sunny. Ha, clouds. There's not a flipping cloud out there. Liar. So I'm going to draw a little itty bitty cloud. And then draw a big something like that. It's so fab to have weather like this. I mean, it's probably the warmest it's been in ages. It's 13 degrees here at the moment. Right, the sun came up at two minutes past seven. And it will go down at 5.35. Right, there you go. So, as you can see, I have... I'll do my day in a minute once that's dry properly. I literally have that video to do. I've started my Polaroids video, but my phone was having trouble connecting to my printer last night, which was hacking me off, so <coughs> I gave up. And um, I've got to clean the oven today. Uh, I haven't done it for weeks, so it's going to need doing. Crap, I'll do that in a minute then. Right. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you this evening. Bye. Good evening. It is... 8.25 p.m. It's been a lovely day. I just feel like I've done so much today. It's been one of those days because I've got no idea where anything is because I rearranged and I tidied and I put things away and I moved things around and <laughs> moved things from one door to another in an effort to try and make everything a little bit more accessible. Whether I was successful or not, time will tell. Right, so... <clears throat> uh, no booze, no fizzy, no caffeine, but we did have chips. God, they were lovely. I did add some notes in. I put a brilliant card to get as a first card back. Very happy, celebratory and welcoming. So, yeah, quite pleased with that. Right. Let's do my mood and my pain. My mood has actually been quite good. Got another video out today, so yeah, I'm doing really well. And the pain has actually been quite quite low. <coughs> there we go. Lovely. Do the sleeping steps in the morning. You know how it goes now. Well you should do. Right. Let's see, I tidied my office and I scrubbed my oven to within an inch of its life. I've done Daryl's table. I will go and put the pet bowls in the dishwasher in a minute. And then I will do the worktops on the floor before I go to bed. Um, I have done that. I have catalogued my gelatos. I didn't film the foil video and I didn't attempt to finish the Polaroid video yet. 
it just my phone wasn't connecting to my printer last night, which is funny enough. So actually I can cross off because I actually did move catalogue gelatos over to next week. But I don't need to do it next week now because I've done it. And then for today, get a load of that. What do you think? <laughs> I drew it was a beautiful day. It was sunshine, blue skies. I put my laundry out on the line. If the grass had been dry, I'd have mowed the bloody lawn. It was that nice. Um, and I just wanted to mark that. I did last year, the first day we mowed the lawn, I actually marked that in my weekly, which I thought was quite cool. But yeah, so on here I used the, um, oh, the Kuretake, I think they're called. The blue was done with the blue from the pearl colours set. I did a video on these actually. What did I do it on a live? I, might, I think I might have done it on a live. Um, and the glitter in the sun was the yellow gold out of the starry colours set. And then the rest of it was done with um, the classic palette from Prima. I love Prima paints. I've got two palettes and I really must buy some more. So yeah, I just thought that was uh, a bit of fun, you know. So when it's 100% dried, I will go and write over it. Or I might just journal underneath and yeah, I think I'll actually not write over that like I have done with the numbers here. I'm just going to leave that like that. So I will write down here. So, just written Saturday, I'll journal underneath it, not that I've got a lot to actually say, although I f feel really, really good and all that lot, you know, I haven't done a huge amount. Um, I've uploaded a video today on a mail haul, I'll link to that in the cards, and um, yeah, just basically done some housework, bummed around the house, you know, that kind of thing. So, there you go. Um, I am thinking, I'm sitting here looking at this stencil that Amanda sent me. And the reason I'm looking at it is because it's a flowery stencil. stencil. And my theme next month, it started out with flowers. I'm just wondering if there's anywhere I can use it, like maybe in around here to fill it up, you know. Hmm. Not an awful lot of room, is there? It's a big flowery stencil, so yeah, I even filled that bit up really. Maybe not. Oh, I could do it in the middle. Hmm, might do. I don't know. I should have to have a think. But yeah, it is like a huge. Unless I did it. Yeah, so I want one colour over it then. Just do it in very pale over that entire tracker. I'm not talking like these stencils are massive. I haven't used them really. I've used them once and I worked so hard. I tried to get them so hard to get them and then I barely used them. Oh, that's the paper. I was pulling up what I thought was a stencil, but it wasn't. See, I've got leaf ones. And then there's like these flowery ones. I mean, look at that. Maybe put it on, do it in a very pale colour over it. Yeah, I'm quite tempted to do that. Mm, I might have a play this evening. Check back here tomorrow. And see what I've come up with. I've just noticed that I didn't used that stencil and not cleaned it. How often am I? So yes, I might have. Or did I clean it and it's not come off? I think I did clean it. Check back tomorrow and I might have done some stenciling on March. <laughs> There's a guaranteed way to make you come back, isn't it? Yeah, the colour just doesn't want to come off that. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, sorry for that little segue there. I was just hmm, having a thinkies, thinking out loud. 
<laughs> right. Anyway, that's uh, that's March. That's not this week. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. And uh, if you like what you saw, hit the book, then hit the bell. You'll be subscribed and then you'll be notified when I upload new content. Leave me a comment. I love comments. I love interacting with all of you guys. It's great. Uh, take it easy, guys. Have a pleasant evening. Happy planning.